in the middle of a debate on an unprecedented uh, and utterly dire housing and homeless emergency, the Minister for Housing says there is no emergency and then leaves the debate before it is over. And if people didn't have enough reasons to come out on the street this Saturday for the Raise the Roof demonstration, that show of contempt for the people who are suffering as a result of the failure of his and previous governments to deal with a crisis that is causing so much trauma, so much hardship, uh, so much suffering for tens and tens and tens of thousands of families, then they have the reason now. And they should get out on the streets because, frankly, people are fed, and fed up and sick and tired uh, of the spoof and dishonesty from the government, the denial from the government, and I would urge them in the strongest uh, terms to get out on the streets this Saturday in their thousands, hopefully in their tens of thousands, and assemble at Parnell Square and come down, march down uh, to this building uh, to frighten the living daylights. Uh, out of a government that doesn't seem to understand the pain and suffering that their policy failures are inflicting. It is an insult for this government to deny there's a housing emergency. Nearly 11,000 families and 3,000 children uh, in homeless accommodation. Record uh, rents gone up another 14% in the last year. Record house prices that mean the vast majority of young and working people could never dream of owning their own home. No protection for tenants uh, against unfair and unjustified evictions. Uh, 122,000 families uh, on the various housing waiting lists, waiting in many circumstances up to 20 years. Uh, for uh, a home. Uh, and meanwhile, the solution that the government says we don't have any solutions is staring the government in the face, 166,000 uh, empty homes in the country sitting there, very often in the hands of vulture funds and investors and speculators who make money the worse the housing crisis gets. And that is really at the essence of this. You see, somebody who is sitting on an empty property, like the one in St. Helens Court that I've mentioned so many times in Dunleary, on 17 now empty apartments and trying to bully and intimidate the remaining tenants out, they are making money every day the housing crisis get worse. Because their property is more valuable and they know it and they are allowed, uh, they are allowed uh, to do it. And then the government's plans uh, in response to that. In my area, there are 4,226 people on the housing lists uh, and on the RAS and HAPS uh, transfer lists. There are going to be another 2,825 people will join the lists during the period of uh, Housing for All. But do you know what the Housing for All plan is? Against that, total need over the next five years of 7,051 uh, people needing just council housing, they're going to build 2,318. So we will have more people on the housing list in Dunleary at the end of Housing for All than we have now. More suffering, more people homeless, uh, and uh, uh, more uh, trauma and neglect for families and children. And I don't have the time uh, to read most of this uh, letter to the minister who just, who's just walked out, uh, but I do want to read a bit of it. Uh, the Minister will be getting us shortly. Um, uh, we are being evicted. I am 55 years living in my home. My parents are living in it since, since 1958. They are since deceased. I was led to believe all my life we were safe as long as we were lifelong tenants. When we were in a position to buy our home, we were told it's not for sale. The woman that is now selling it doesn't even know me or my family. Um, I need your help because we cannot fix this situation and we are running out of time. So when you're at home this Christmas, sitting having your Christmas dinner and sitting back enjoying your family, please have a picture of my family sitting in our car at the side of the road having no Christmas because we do not have a home. My darling beloved husband will be put into an early grave as he is a broken man as the, as the, the dad of a husband. 
That is what we are putting people through, and this government shows nothing but contempt for it.